Oh, I'm being outdone. <laughs> In the days of yore, mass communication relied upon the verbose efforts of the spoken word. Your poor town crier was called upon to spread the news which could be a never-ending chore. This news and information was spread very much hit and miss, like the spreading of mushroom spores. <laughs> Unless you were in the know, the local news might pass to you, might pass you by, and very much like mushroom farming, people were frequently in the dark and you were perpetually knowledge poor. Times have changed in so many positive ways. No longer do we need to sit in the dark, relying upon the tittle-tattle of gossip and rumour. Because here in Wimborne, we are rather good at that bit, I must add. <laughs> because here in Wimborne, we have vision and added humour. A vibrant community that will now have a dedicated radio station. Radio Wimborne will fulfill our wonderful town's needs with much vigour and will quickly become an instrument of community cohesion. So we celebrate today Wimborne's electronic augmentation and all I ask is that this does not see the demise of the traditional town crier's role. <laughs> May the Lords of the Ethers bless Radio Wimborne and I urge you to rally round and make use of this wonderful resource with your heart and soul. God bless Radio Wimborne. Well May I introduce to you the man who kicked it all off, young Malcolm. On the machine through there, we've got a button that you press that says applause, which I should have had. <laughs> I'm doing my best uh, tonight not to look like a puppy dog with two tails that are wagging absolutely amazingly fast, um, because today's been kind of surreal. Uh, like one of those dreams you think might happen, might happen, but it actually has happened. Um, uh, we actually did launch today uh, between 12 and 2 on the radio live, and it wasn't too bad, was it, Steve? No, it's quite good. Quite good, <laughs> see? Now that's great praise from Mr. Steve Sample from Forest FM. Uh, now, I'm, I am not the boss of Radio Wimborne, okay? I'm just one of the team. I'm, I'm privileged to be part of that team that's got Radio Wimborne up and running and off the ground. It's been a huge effort and it's been, and we've been through a learning curve like that and we've had headaches and it's been extremely difficult at times and we blame Steve Savile for it all. <laughs> there he is. It'll be easy, Malcolm, you just do it. But we have done it eventually with, with, with your help and with everybody's help. And, and it's all about, Radio Wimborne is all about goodwill. Absolutely about goodwill of the, of the people, of the people with, I mean, the Allendale Community Centre, for goodness sake, it wouldn't be working if it wasn't for the Allendale Community Centre saying, yes, take a room. And what better place could you have a radio station? It's the heart of our community, the heart of Wimborne, the heart of Dorset, the centre of the universe. <laughs> I think I was able to say that today, live, on air, to the whole world, because we were going out on the internet. So they know that in America now, uh, which is really rather good, isn't it? So the team, and the team really had... Now, I've said to tonight, uh, to, before this, that if I start to talk about individual people, I'll forget someone, so I, I can't. You know who you are, team. Uh, d directors, um, and, and we're going to be mingling a, a, a amongst you uh, today. But, but of course, it's not just, just the directors; it's the it's the broadcasters. I've got one here, actually. I can mention one, young Dom. There we go, F fifteen-year-old Dom. You've been broadcasting for how long? Um, since I was thirteen. Well, there you go, a total pro, and it's just absolutely fab to have you on the show because because once you get Dom behind that microphone, you listen to you on. When are you on? Thursdays and Saturday afternoon. Right, okay, absolutely amazing stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely modern music. Uh, I quite like some of it. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. It's great to have you. And in actual fact, you've been, you're up for an award, aren't you? Yes, I am, yeah. Come on, tell us about Hospital it. Hospital Broadcasting Award. I was um, named in the top ten in the country. Yeah! yeah. 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 
bag and we claim Dom for our own, don't we? Well, well done, you. We'll, we'll, we'll take full uh, uh, credit for that. Um, the, the, the whole idea, Chris said it all, the whole idea of, 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 of Radio Wimborne is to, is to reinforce the identity, our identity, the identity of this part of Dorset, um, to let people know that we're here. It's good for our community, and it's good for, and it's good for our businesses as well. Um, we intend to try to do what Steve has done so well for the, for the Verwood end, because we're in association with Forest FM. And if those of you who haven't listened to Forest FM, have a crack at it. And it's not because he's here. I can tell you, it's one of the, it's, it is one of the best, probably the, isn't it? It's the best, best community <laughs> radio station in the country. So professional, you wouldn't want to listen to anything else. It's great stuff with some great, some great programs. So well done, Steve. And I've been on it, Steve, for years to, um, haven't I? Annoying him for years. Yeah. So why can't we have one in Wimble? Why can't we have one? And it was it was early part of last year that Steve said, "Tell you what, Malcolm, let's have a go at this." So really, we do owe it all to him. And and, and Forest FM have have not only they they've tutored us, they've talked us through it, they've helped us with equipment, um, helped us set things up, and it's been absolutely amazing. So although I wasn't going to talk about people in particular, um, we wouldn't be here in Wimborne if it wasn't for our good friends. It's like the upcountry. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm blushing already. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. I must know in money that I'm talking. Must have. <laughs> um, and of course, our, the, the people that have helped to, 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 to fund us as well. Sponsors. We've got we've got an anonymous uh, uh, sponsor, but of course we've got the bid which kickstarted us, uh, the business improvement district, which which I think is a great thing for this town. Have really helped out here by giving us some seed fund money to help us actually get underway. And, and, and going. Otherwise, we wouldn't have attempted it because I didn't have deep enough pockets myself. Um, and of course, we've got the wonderful uh, uh, Rotary, who've come in with a with a H. Uh, you, you've bought us an H4FN super top quality um, uh, TVU. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it is. No idea. But Steve's got one. The difference is, our difference is ours has got a dead cat. It's just giggling. We should have it in here tonight, shouldn't we? Indeed. Well, it's, been, it's been made good use of. So, so, so thank you. Wimble Minster Town Council have, have come in to assist us. Uh, uh, um, uh, the, the, uh, when it comes to, to, to help of friendship, East Dorset Heritage Trust to help us out with some with some computers, which is very kind. Anyone here from East Dorset Heritage Trust? Yeah. Yeah, well done. That was brilliant. Uh, thank you. We had to completely rebuild them. <laughs> Chris did. Chris, look, Chris is our technical genius. He looked at them and went, what the hell are these? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, well. Yeah. And, and, and a nod. Um, but um, at, way back, at the end of last summer, um, we thought, you know, uh, we've been told, you, you can't have a radio station. We didn't have a radio station at all, we just had bits and pieces around, without, a, without an idept. And we've, we've had to learn, us radio people now, the radio language. As in all things technical, there, there's a language that goes with it. I was told the other day by a chap that came to see me, that we needed more. Well, I was told actually it's not, it's just voices over, but, but there we are. Maybe you're, maybe people will, will, will disagree. Uh, but, but we needed an ident, a fabulous ident, that, that when people turn on, it's going to go, we're going to have a wonderful bed, and the bed is a sound, the music comes first, and then it ends up in a really um, optimistic, lovely sounding voice and tune. And uh, I couldn't look any further than Gavin and Liz. I wasn't going to talk about anyway, was I? But Gavin and Liz are here, two, two in a bar. Um, went off and thought, yeah, okay, Malcolm's mad as a hatter because they used to work with me at the TIV, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah fabulous. Thoughts of the TIV and created what make, will make give our, our town um, worldwide its identity. Its identity is its ident. So the music and the lovely voice at the end is, 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 is thanks to people. Yeah. I wasn't going to mention anyway, was I? Um, uh, who have I forgotten? <laughs> no? <laughs> uh, no? No one's, no one's waving things around. Um, now, we, we're going to lift off tonight at half past six um, with, with a band. Um, what band? <laughs> they should be on the double NED. <laughs> the chap on the right is Paul Thomas, if you don't know him. Charles is next to him. Paul is actually one of our directors. 
uh, a, a Wimborne bid director, aren't you, Paul? And he's making sure that, we're, that, that financially we're kept in, in line and doing all the things we, we should do. And, uh, and uh, so he's delightfully agreed to come along and entertain us tonight um, for the first 30 minutes. So while Paul's playing, um, we, 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 we're going to open the canapes, whatever, there'll be a mad dash towards them, uh, and have a drink, have a chat, but then um, stay with us because at 7 o'clock we're lifting off with, a, with another live show, Rusty Nails, Acker Mike Welch, is going to be broadcasting from the studio. Now you can go in there and whilst, whilst Paul's playing, if you like, most people probably will leave. And have a look, because the live show's then going to be on between uh, 7 and 8 o'clock, and boy, does Rusty play some fantastic music. So I shall leave it at that. Just thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for all your help and all your advice, Steve, and everything that everyone's done to help us get underway. And thank you to all the directors who've worked so bloody hard uh, to make things work. Um, thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you.